Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the feather lock bracelet here. And this was designed by The Looming Corner on Instagram. I know it's been a while since I have uploaded a tutorial, but um I just haven't been I just haven't been able to uh, upload them. So anyways, I'm going to bring up The Looming Corner's profile here on Instagram. So it is the underscore, sorry, looming underscore corner. I will have his name in the description box below, so make sure to check him out here on Instagram and give him a follow for me. He's a really active account. He posts a lot of super duper nice bracelets, and uh, his color combinations are also super nice. So you can see he has a lot of pictures. You can scroll through them all if you do have an Instagram. Like I said before, I will have his name in the description box below, so make sure to check him out there and give him a follow for me. This is the signature side of the bracelet here, but you can also wear it on this other side. It's totally up to you. This is just what it looks like. This was originally, or initially, a 7 pin bar design. You can make it on 5 pins um, because the outer border is zigzag, so you can uh, make it on 5 pins if you, um, if you want to or if you need to. It's up to you. You're also going to need a hook, a C-clip, and some bands. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to have your loom set up like this with the arrows pointing away from you. And you're going to get your zigzag color, which in um, this bracelet is the octopus. Today I am using the uh, deep lilac sweets purple. So starting here on the center peg, we're going to just trace the border. So go up and out to the left and to the right. And then just go down and then back up. Same over here, go down. And try not to get those bands twisted if you are using dual layer. And then go back up. And then you're going to go from there to the inside. And then back out. In and back out. So go ahead and do that all the way up until you reach um, the end of your loom. I'll show you what it looks like when I get there. You're going to do both sides of this design. And you're going to close it off like we started it off, so it's going to be pretty much a, um, a mirror image on the other side. So, like I said before, I will show you when I get up there. I'm going to go ahead and continue placing my left and my right sides here on camera. You can follow along, or skip ahead, or slow down, or pause if you need to. And also, one more thing. Um, I would recommend using dual layer bands for these zigzags because it looks really, really nice. And yeah, so I will uh, see you guys when I get to the end. So what you're going to want to do is end here on the outsides, so the second to last pins on these two outside pins, and then you're going to go up into the center on both sides, then you're going to go down, and down, and then lastly you're going to go back up in a point. So the top part here is just the upside down version of what we have at the beginning, so go ahead and push all of those bands off to the sides and come back to the beginning of your loom once you have finished. Obviously, if you are doing a full wrap, you will want 14 pins or two looms. And next thing you're going to be doing is placing the neon green and lime green jelly bands in this bracelet. Uh, on this side, the neon green bands are more visible, and on this side, the lime green bands are more visible. So. Um, for the lime green, I am using glow in the dark purple, and then for the neon green, I am using white. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is place two of your lime green bands. So, using my purple, starting on that center, 
you're going to do a long stretch up and out into a V. Oops, just lost my band. And like that. So I would recommend using jelly bands or uh, at least opaques. It's just hard to get um, the thicker bands to stretch that far. So then what you're going to do is alternate and grab two of your white bands. And from here you're going to go up into the center and just end in an arrow here. So then you're going to go back to your V-shaped bands and start that V from where your arrow point is. Just go out and then out. And then take your two white bands and go in and in. And just continue doing that all the way down till you reach the end of your loom. So remember you're placing V-shaped bands first and then you're placing arrows. The V-shaped bands are a little bit um, stretched out more. But as you can see in this bracelet, it looks like the, um, the neon greens are actually stretched out more. So make sure you are alternating. If you're not alternating, it won't come out um, as it's supposed to. So um, just make sure that you are alternating between your purple and your white. Hopefully you have already been doing so. And if you are, you can just disregard that. Um, if you're not, it, it won't come out the same, um, unfortunately. But I am almost at the end of mine, so I'll show you how to finish this off here. So these are the last V-shaped bands that you'll be placing, and then we're going to place three more white bands, so two that go up into that standard arrow shape, and then your last one here is going to go straight forward onto that end peg, so it looks like this. And once you have done that, go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom. Next thing we're going to be doing is placing the white Persian bands that are in this bracelet, and I am going to be using the jolly green bands for that. So they're just the dual layer dark green ones. Uh, this bracelet is pretty dual layer friendly except for the center, it might get really twisted so just be aware of that if you do decide to um, use those in the center. So what you're going to do is place a, um, it's not really a half starburst but it's partial, it's a partial starburst so um, starting here, what you're going to want to do, or starting here actually, sorry, is you're going to go forward, alright, starting here, sorry, I did, uh, I did forget that, so go up to there and go down, up, and straight. So it's four bands of the six of a Star Wars. You're not going to place the other two. You're going to continue that. If you do want to switch colors, you can obviously do that um, whenever you want. I'm just going to use one solid color. So again, make sure that you go straight again after you place that. So it's going to be like two single chain bands. And then you're going to do this, this up, down, Go down up and then straight again and continue doing this all the way down the loom so you're going to go straight down up and then straight again so i'm going to continue this on the left side after i finish the right side or i'll show you the right side here it's just the same thing so you'll just do the same thing except you're going to this outside pin now we're going to leave the center uh, empty for now until we get to the next part of looping. Well, we're not really placing any more bands in the center, but when you are looping, you will have more bands on the center. So it's a pretty simple step. Hopefully you have it down by now. I'm going to go ahead and do the couple, uh, couple that I have left, and then I'll show you what bands to place next, and we can go from there.
So once you reach the end, this is what you're going to kind of want it to look like here. And if you notice, if you are doing this on one loom, even if you are doing this on two looms, um, it will probably look like this unless you go up another peg and it's a, it's a different number of uh, peg spaces. Anyway, what you're going to do is just here you're going to go straight and then down to the left and to the right. Um, and then that's all you have to do. So next what we're going to do is place some bands in the center, which in this bracelet is the pink that I used. So go ahead and come back to the beginning. And for the center here, I am going to be using some opaque yellow. And all you're going to do is just place some zigzags, uh, not continuous, but anyway, starting here, where you started your starburst, you're going to go up into the outside, just like so. Then you're going to go up to this gap in between your two starbursts. Hopefully you do still have a gap. Then you're just going to go up into the inside and then back to the outside like so. Just kind of create a triangle. Go up to the next gap. So it's pretty much every other pin you're starting here. You're going to be um, putting two bands connecting to your zigzag out here. So this is a pretty quick step. Go ahead and do this for both sides, um, on both sides of your loom, all that we have your loom, and same thing on the right side, and we have one, one last layer to place and then we can start looping. So once you have placed all of those bands, you're just going to stop there. We don't want to place any more of these yellow bands because we already have our border here, so it would uh, overlap our border and we don't want to do that. So um, come back to the beginning of your loom. We have one last layer to place, which in this bracelet is the whites in here. Um, as you may be able to see, they are cap bands. They're just regular cap bands, and I'm going to be using white again. So all you have to do is cap um, all of the pegs on these two pins and that includes the top here. So go ahead and just simply cap this one. Cap this one, you can do it on your fingers, on your hook, on the loom, um, whichever you prefer. I just kind of like to do mine on the loom. Then you go up to the center, you're gonna cap it. Center here, you're gonna cap it. And then on the zigzags, you're gonna cap it. And on the center, you're going to cap it as well. Oops. So it's nothing super difficult, it's just a regular cap band, you don't have to triple cap it, but if you do want to take it on yourself to do that, you are totally welcome to do so. Um, I just think it's a bit easier to do regular cap bands, and that's what I'm going to do. That's what I did in this bracelet, and it turned out fine, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. You're going to go ahead and do this all the way down until you reach the end of your loom. Make sure you are getting all of those pegs, you don't want to miss any and then I will show you how to start looping and then the last cap bands that we have to place. And then here you're going to place one cap band here you're going to place one cap band, and on this last peg you're going to place one cap band as well. So for the last uh, three pegs here, you're going to put a cap band here because that's what we're doing on all of the pins on this side. And then you have to place one last one in the center for your general cap band, um, which we which you will attach to your C clip um, if you are actually um, putting one C clip on. So. <laughs> Uh, just go ahead and turn your loom around so that the arrows are now pointing towards you. You're going to grab your hook and then we're going to start looping. So first thing you want to do is loop out these zigzag yellow bands here. So just go up to the second uh, peg on the second pin, go underneath the cap band. You're just going to grab that yellow and pull that out to itself. Same here, pull that out to itself. Then skip this peg here, go up to the next yellow, pull that out and then pull this one out 
and skip this one, go up to the next one, and just simply pull those first two bands out to themselves. Don't pull any of the other bands yet. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this on my left side. Just You might want to actually uh, hold down these cap bands so you don't lose them. And then out here you're only going to have one band, so you're still going to go underneath the cap band and just grab that band and pull it back to itself. You can also start at the top here just for this step because the yellow bands aren't really connected to each other. So it doesn't matter what order you loop them in as long as you loop the top band on each peg. So I'm going to kind of loop mine backwards. I know it's a little bit weird. But I am almost done. You're just doing the same thing on the right side, by the way. So once you are here, what we're going to now do is loop these green bands um, that are like our partial starburst. So you're going to go underneath of this first cap band, and you're going to grab that top green band, you're going to pull it out to itself. You're going to want to make sure that it's not super twisted. Um, I like to make sure that my bands aren't twisted so it's easier to pull them off. Then you're going to pull this other green band straight forward onto itself. Now I know in some bracelets you'll just pull this band forward onto itself, but what we're actually going to do is completely loop this out um, from the center. So what you're going to do is go underneath of this cap band that hasn't been pulled by any bands. You're going to grab that top band. Oops. That's what I mean by holding down the cap band. So reattach that band. And cap it. So you're going to go underneath of the cap band. You're going to grab this band. Your top band goes back to itself. You might want to push that down. Then you're just going to grab the next band. Loop that out to itself. Grab the next band, lift that out to itself, and then the last one that will go straight forward. And I'm going to go ahead and push down my yellow bands just so that my green bands don't pop off when I try to loop them. And then I will show you how to continue looping these. So you're going to go up to the next one, and you're going to grab that top band. Again, it should be this green band that comes back to itself. And you're going to grab the next green band and pull that one out to itself same here and then pull it straight forward so this is the process um, all the way down and then after you do this on both sides I'll show you how to loop the center it is a little bit um, different it's not super duper simple so just keep an eye out for that also it's easier to um, unstraighten or untwist your bands sorry untwist your bands um, on the loom rather than when you take it off just because this is a pretty tight design especially in the center so you won't want your bands to be too twisted your zigzag bands though are really easy to fix so uh, it's just these these green bands that are most twisted so just like that and now what I'm going to do is push down all of these bands on all these pegs so that I have room to loop my later, my later bands, and then I'm going to continue this on the right side. So that first pin is going to be a little bit different because there's only two bands. We're just going to loop them out to itself, and then skip a peg, and continue down your loop.
So once you have looped all of those bands out to themselves, go ahead and push down the bands on all these pegs and come back to the beginning of your loom. Next thing you're going to be doing is looping the center section here. So what we're going to do is go underneath of the center cap band here before we do anything else and pull this white band forward. And then what you're going to do is go underneath of this cap band out here and you're going to grab this purple band, this glow in the dark one. You're going to pull it up into itself, so into the center. Also, these bands get super duper twisted if you're not careful, so be sure to be careful. And you're going to go underneath of the next peg. My hook would stop catching all of the other ones. And pull that up into the center as well. And then from inside of this white band, you're going to grab the white bands and just simply pull them out to themselves. And then from the pegs that you pulled them out to, you're going to go all the way to the bottom. You're going to grab this pur purple band, the glow in the dark purple band. And you're going to pull it up and into the center. So be careful on these purple bands because the pegs um, have a lot of bands on them and they're pretty stressed. So um, hopefully you're not using easily breakable bands. Uh, you're then going to pull out the whites to themselves, which can also get pretty twisted if you're not careful. So every other peg, these purple bands are going to be pretty stressed out because of the amount of bands on the pegs. And the white bands shouldn't get too stretched. Um, they just might get a little bit twisted. So go ahead and continue doing this all the way until you reach the top of your loom. And then I'll show you what you have to do next and then finish this off. Then your last purple bands will just loop up here into the center. These white bands will loop out onto themselves. And then that will be the end of this sequence. So you're going to want to push down all the bands on those top three pegs. Um, not necessarily on the center ones. It's actually easier if you do not push them down so it won't stress out your bands so much when you are pulling this off. And you're going to come back to the beginning of your loom, push down the cap bands, and we're now going to loop the border. So the border looping is pretty simple. You're just going to go underneath of the cap band and you're going to grab the top border band. You're going to pull that out to itself. Pull this one out to itself then go to the bottom, so underneath those four loops, grab the purple, pull it out, grab this purple, pull it out, and then from there, grab the next purple, pull that to the very outside, and then from here, pull this purple to the very outside. From that purple, you're going to pull it into the center, you're going to go all the way to the bottom, grab the other purple, pull it out, and then simple non-stretched band, and then little bit stretch band. So that's what you're going to do all the way up the loom. You're just looping it like a regular zigzag. So loop it in and then back out, in and then back out. If these bands get twisted, don't oops, sorry, don't worry too much about it because they will, um, if they don't become untwisted um, as you take them off, then they're really easy to untwist um, afterwards. So if you are using dual layer bands or just bands that get twisted, I wouldn't worry about them too much. And I will continue looping this up my left side. I'll show you a bit of the right side. And then I'll show you how to finish it off.
So once you are at this point, I've just stopped here and here. Once I've looped them out, you're just going to grab this other one, go up into the center, down into the center, and lastly, up into the top center. Same thing on the other side. And I will also give you tips on how to uh, take this off without stressing out your bands too much. So once you have it in the top center, just leave it there. You're going to pull off these two loops up here, and then all these ones on the seventh and first pegs on the sides so that they don't get accidentally caught or stretched out. And then you're going to grab everything down here and take off all of the first seven uh, bands. You can even take off that one. And then just take off your other zigzags. And you're going to grab one extension band or two, however many you like to use. I'm just going to use one today. I'm going to pull it through. And <laughs> my peg is popping out of the base. So this bracelet is very, very tight in the center. Be careful when you're taking it off. Um, I would probably recommend just holding it in the center. I'm trying to pull that band off. The side ones aren't too hard. They're pretty loose, actually. It's the center one that can really get you if you're not careful. You're also going to make sure that you have this band on your hook so you don't lose uh, the band and you don't lose all the work that you just did. Finally, at long last, I have gotten this off the loom, and this is what it looks like. I probably should not have used yellow in this bracelet, but uh, oh well, it is what it is. So anyway, that's going to do it for this tutorial, so thank you for watching, and make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have the Looming Corner's name in the description box below. Make sure to check him out on Instagram and give him a follow for me. And that's all I'm going to have for this video, and probably for today, um, but it should be uploading soon, so I hope to see you guys next time.